poly embryoni poly embryoni means one seed contains more embryos poly embryos present in one seed is called poly embryoni it is a abnormal character in angiosperms it is normal characters in all gymnosperms see poly embryoni in angiosperms is abnormal only few plants shows poly embryoni characters in angiosperms it is only abnormal character today we discussed here poly embryoni in angiosperms see poly embryoni mainly two types in angiosperms one is true poly embryoni second one is false poly embryoni true poly embryoni means embryos are developed from embryo are developed from egg cell are developed from synergies are developed from antipodals are developed from endosperm are developed from new cells and integuments if these parts are produced embryos called true poly embryoni later we discuss how to embryo develop into another embryo how to egg cells develop into another embryo later clear discussion will be here true poly embryoni means embryos more are poly embryos developed from embryo developed from egg cells developed from synergids developed from antipodals developed from endosperm new cells and integuments if these parts are develop into embryos is called true poly embryoni second one is false poly embryoni the name is given false they are look like a embryo like structure but not true embryos they are look like a embryo like structure but not true embryos they cannot develop into plantlets but the structure the embryo structure look like a embryo true embryo like structure is called false poly embryoni see these false poly embryonies are developed from more embryo like structures more embryo like structures are developed from new cells and new cells fusion but that embryos not true embryos but that embryos not look like a not act as a true embryos but they look like a embryos but they cannot develop into plantlets they are developed from which part of the ovule new cells new cells is the diploid condition the diploid condition new cells develop into embryo like structure that embryo like structure is called false poly embryoni and new cells fusion also the cells new cells cells also fuse to form zygote like embryos like structure but these embryos cannot develop into plantlets so these developed embryo like structures are called false poly embryoni see children in true poly embryoni also new cells tissues are developed as a true true embryos they develop into embryo like structure that embryos develop into plantlet it is the true poly embryoni in false poly embryoni same the new cells cells also develop into embryo like structures not embryos embryo like structures not embryos so false poly embryoni new cell cells or embryos cannot develop into plantlet in true poly embryoni the new cell cells develop into true embryos the true embryos develop into plantlet it is the main difference between the new cell cells true poly embryoni and false poly embryoni now we discuss here it is what are the types of true poly embryoni see here it is the true poly embryoni done by following steps first is first type is cleavage poly embryoni 
cleavage poly embryoni in erythronium orchidaceae santalaceae ulfia these are the example plants and families and synergid sometimes synergid is also develop into embryos examples argimon sagittaria aristolochia these are the plant names and embryos developed from antipodals sometimes antipodals also develop into embryos example plant is almas sometimes embryos developed from endosperm endosperm is the nutrient tissue but sometimes it will happen it act as a true embryos example plant is trillium and adventitio poly embryoni it adventitio poly embryoni in citrus and opanisia see these are these all types belongs to true poly embryoni true poly embryo means these poly embryos can capable for the development of plantlet development of plantlet is called true poly embryoni now first we discussed how to cleavage poly embryoni developed in angiosperms see cleavage poly embryoni see children it is true embryo true embryo means after true fertilization male gamete fuse with the egg cell to form diploid zygote initially the diploid zygote is single cell that single cell diploid zygote develop into mass of cells we called embryo that embryo participated in the cleavage means cleaves it modified it it uh, participated in the cleavage action division see true embryo divided into parts true embryo divided into parts each part develop into embryo each part develop into embryo see in this diagram initially it is only true embryo it containing only mass of our globular structure during the development of these embryo it participated means the true embryo participated in the cleavage function or division divided into parts each part develop into embryo like structure here it is in diagram it is true embryo it is cleavage embryo cleavage embryo means the lateral part also cleaved part also develop into embryo like structure so how to develop these two embryos by the cleavage action cleavage poly embryoni here it is in the diagram only two embryos are developed by the cleavage sometimes more embryos also develop more cleavage functions also occurs in this true embryo the true embryo cleaves into more number of fragments each fragment of true embryo develop into poly embryoni like structure it is also capable for the development of plantlet so how many embryos here it is more embryos by the cleavage function which plants here example erythronium orchidaceae family some plants santalaceae and ulfia plant these are the example for the cleavage poly embryoni the next one is synergid poly embryoni see children generally the synergids are disappeared before fertilization or during the fertilization maybe after fertilization synergids are completely degenerated from the embryo side sometimes sometimes means more than one pollen tube enter into the ovule if one pollen tube enter into the ovule it released only two male gametes from the two male gametes one male gamete fuse with egg cell to form diploid zygote another male gamete fuse with pen primary endosperm nucleus it is normal fertilization sometimes more than one pollen tube means two pollen tubes three pollen tubes enter into the ovule if one pollen tube enter into the ovule it released only two male gametes if two pollen tube enter into the ovule the two pollen tubes are released to four male gametes that extra male gametes are fertilized with the synergid nucleus more male gametes extra male gametes are fertilized with the synergid nucleus to form diploid zygote diploid zygote also develop into developed by synergid cells by the fusion of male gamete with synergy nucleus to form embryo like structure that embryos are developed from which cells here it is synergids so this 
poly embryon is also called synergid poly embryon when will happen more than one pollen tube enter into the ovule it will be happen it will be happen means sometimes more pollen tubes are like two three four pollen tubes are enter into the ovule the extra male gametes are fertilized with the synergid nucleus that synergid cells develop into embryo like structure it is also called true synergid poly embryony example argimon sagittaria aristolochia these are the diagrams and sometimes embryos from the antipodals it is also applicable for the entry of more pollen tube into the ovule entry of more pollen tube see children generally egoperator egoperators containing egg cell lateral synergids and antipodals present at the chalazal region of the embryo sac before fertilization or after fertilization that antipodals are disappeared or degenerated in all types of embryos rarely in almas more than one pollen tube enter into the embryo sac or enter into the ovule that more pollen tube released more male gametes that extra male gametes are fertilized with antipodal cells that antipodal cells convert into embryo like structure it is also called true poly embryony from antipodals when will happen it is if more than one pollen tube enter into the ovule sometimes synergids develop into embryo like structure sometimes antipodals also develop into embryo like structures the next one is embryos from endosperm generally endosperm is diploid or triploid or pentaploid or nonaploid in structure generally the endosperm function is supplies nutrients supplies nutrients to the embryo it is a main function but in trillium the endospermal cells may be triploid or diploid or pentaploid or nonaploid these stages endosperm cells are develop into embryo like structure at the chalazal region see endosperm is the nutrient tissue the main function of endosperm it supplies nutrients to the developed embryo it is the main function but in some plants of angiosperms like in trillium some endospermal cells also develop into embryo like structure at the chalazal region the chalazal region endosperm modified into embryo like structure so embryos developed from which part here it is endosperm sometimes micropylar region cells also develop into embryos so these embryos are developed from endosperm so this poly embryon is also called embryos from endosperm and the next one is adventitive poly embryony adventitive poly embryony it is the diagram children adventitive poly embryony best example citrus or opanisia citrus and opanisia see during the fertilization diploid zygote is formed by the true fertilization in opanisia and citrus the true zygote cannot develop into embryo cannot develop into embryo it is disappeared or degenerated disappeared or degenerated if the true embryo is degenerated or disappeared in the embryo sac or in the ovule integuments integument cells or some new cellular cells develop into embryos like structure not only single embryo that new cellular cells or integument cells developed more embryo like structures that embryos are develop into plantlet embryos are develop into plantlet see these embryos developed from which year it is maybe in new cellulars or maybe integument layers these all embryos are also develop into plantlet finally from the all types of embryos only single embryo is develop into plantlet single embryo is develop into matured plantlet what is the general function here it is true fertilization diploid zygote is developed 
the diploid zygote develop into diploid embryo it is normal function but in citrus in oponychia true fertilization will be occurs after true fertilization the true embryo will be disappeared or degenerated later from the integument cells or from the new cellular cells more embryos are developed not false embryos true embryos true embryos are developed the true embryos also develop into plantlets from this all poly embryonis true poly embryonis only one embryo is developed into true plantlet it is the adventitio poly embryoni these are the main types of poly embryoni in angiosperms